Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. I'm Romina Bianca Lido and today I'm in the Dubai airport. I'm on my way to go catch my flight to Johannesburg. So I'm gonna continue this vlog back in Joburg and I'm gonna tell you guys all about my India trip. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Makeup Mondays and today I'm incorporating it with my vlog Thursday so that I can add in a little bit of my India trip. I was away for two months and I didn't vlog or film anything for about three. I'm finally back and I'm on it again. I just had to get my life sorted out. I'm back doing these videos and I am going to show you guys the best products to use on your face on your body and in life. So I'm excited to show you guys some of my favorites and yeah, let's uh, get beautiful together. You know what I mean? For the past two months, I was in India and I was actually cheerleading for the IPL. I'm not too sure how much I can disclose of the trip, but I'm going to show you guys an awesome montage. I had so much fun. I met such wonderful women. I went to a lot of different cities. I was in Hyderabad. I was in Kolkata, which was our home base. I went to Delhi, Mumbai, Indoor Chennai. I, I was seeing a lot of different places and it was just so much fun. Is that a kitty I hear? Pablo! Puppy! Oh my god, my neighbor's cat is on the wall right now. So majestic. Okay, so what I was saying was that I got the most amazing tan when I was in Hyderabad. Hyderabad D. Depending on the climate, it was either humid or it was a dry hot weather and it was honestly amazing. Coming back to South Africa, it's cold, it gets down to two degrees here and I'm like, I want to go back to India ASAP. I need that hot weather. I'm just so excited to share with you this look, which is definitely inspired 100% by how I felt in India. The blue, there's like these really cute blue fences in Kolkata. So cute when you're driving down the streets. That's why I use like this really beautiful blue color. I use a lot of yellow in this look because India made me feel like I was sunshine. And India really helped expand my heart and help me grow as a person. And I'm just so grateful that I even had the experience to begin with. Yeah, I'm just really happy to be here. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to continue watching, please do. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to your views. Let me know how I can improve in the comments down below. I want to also hear from you if you've been to India, what you thought about India. And also the trip was very different for me in the sense that I was touring with the cheerleader squad. I had a manager. She was amazing. Mary, I love you. You were the best manager anyone could ask for. The girls that I was with, it was 10 of us. They were all just phenomenal. You'll see a bit of everyone in the montage video. Let's get right into this video. I'm excited to show you guys. Firstly, this look, close up, just a little snippet. And then montage, and then get into the look. Let's go, okay, yeah. Yo, it's hard days and it's hard months Sometimes I don't know what to say, it's me all at once My pride is getting in the way and I'm on the run Scared that things are gonna change, what will I become? No, I can't take it sometimes, that's why I dive into rhymes That's why we dive into lies, we digging deeper inside We try to keep up with life, we hide our pain from the light Do what we can to survive, but no no, I won't let it take a hold of me Find my passion, make it happen, I'm gon' take control of me Not reacting, taking action, I can feel it pulling me A hole so deep, my soul will need a passion that comes over me Yeah, I won't hide from mistakes Cause if I try, that's okay I'm learning life every day I'm 25, still the same When I was not that okay I'll figure it out one day Your peace of mind, I'll be safe yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yo, they say to be where your feet are I just listen to the beat, try to restart I just listen to the beat like it's your heart So far, I can't seem to let down my own guard Yeah I'm defensive for a reason Hiding all my demons Affected by the seasons uh, Sometimes I just feel like leaving I'm sick of all these feelings I'm sick of always dealing Yo, you say that I've changed But you've changed All this pain in my veins Is from the things you say Your state of mind never stays the same You say you're fine But you lie to me Inside you're dividing me Yeah, we've got our highs and our lows And when we're high we're so close But when we're low I don't know Yeah don't wanna be someone different, why can't you just be forgiven? And who I am, that's a gift. Yeah. 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 First things first guys, I wanted to put on some bronzing cream and I'm going to work on my skin. The one I'm going to use is the Caribbean Shimmer Cream and this one is really amazing because it does wash off. I'm going to just put on a glove because I want to get this everywhere. So I am wearing this beautiful top right now, I don't want to ruin it and I'm just going to put some tissue paper over here. So I'm just putting on a little bit. I don't want to put that much, it's literally just so I have that little bit of bronze shimmer so it complements the makeup that I'm going to use. But now that we're a little bit bronzed up, I'm going to work on my skin a little bit and prime my eyes. found this amazing liquid highlighter from NYX and it's in the color Gleam. It's really so wonderful, so I'm going to apply some of this on my face. I'm going to apply some strobe cream with that bronze and this one is in the color Pink Light. And this, I'm just gonna apply it on my cheek area. I'm just gonna blend it in with that bronzer. I really love this color. I think it's so amazing. But I just wanted to show you guys how creamy it is. It is so smooth. And yeah, so I'm just kind of applying that everywhere. And then I'm using a wet beauty blender just to blend it everywhere. So guys, this is basically what my skin looks like with those highlighters. It's literally so amazing. I'm going to conceal my eyes just because it's something that I've been doing and I've been enjoying doing. Okay, so the two concealers I have been using while I was in India was the Revlon Youth Fix and then the Revlon Colorstay concealers. I've been enjoying these ones so much. This one especially because it is so moisturizing. This is the box that the Revlon Fix concealer comes in and the color that I got is the 03 Light Medium. Gorgeous. It's so beautiful. There's a little pump at the bottom here and then you just pump out that see look it's getting there i'm so excited to be back on my youtube channel guys i don't think you understand i haven't done a youtube video since before my sister's birthday i did a makeup look on the channel about like how i'm gonna look on her birthday and i didn't do a follow-up video from that because i just thought it was a really personal affair i was gonna show you guys a bit more of like the party and the jewel but i decided against it i have quite a lot of footage from the event actually and i just decided you know what it's it's a birthday it's so personal i do want to respect the privacy of everybody that was at the event and i'd rather not put that footage online if that makes sense let's get back into this i'm going to show you guys now how to prime your eyes before you do an amazing makeup look We're taking my favorite palette, which is from Switch Beauty. You can order this online. Yeah, so Switch Beauty Unicorn Source Palette. Beautiful colors over here. I'm just gonna be basing the eye with the matte nude. I'm gonna be using the MAC 240S. This one is a really nice, big, fluffy brush. This is actually bigger than the MAC 224. And if you guys just wanna see them next to one another. This is the 240S and this is the 224. It is significantly bigger which is nicer because if you want to prime the eye and you just want to like base it then it's actually really nice. I'm going to be using my 224 brush and I'm going to be going into that yellow color right over here. It's really nice pigmented sunshine kind of yellow. We're going to use the Kayla blending brushes. This one's quite a fluffy one. I'm not too sure what the number is so I'm not going to tell you what it is. 
this. But yeah, it's one of the blending brushes from the Kayla range. I'm gonna be going in with orange now. And now we're just keeping closer to the base of the eye. Just warming up that yellow just a tad bit. Make sure you're going into the corner as well as blending it outwards. And we're really going for that sunset look today. I'm gonna go in with that blending brush that had the bit of the yellow and we're just gonna blow it out. It's that very beautiful sunset look right now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna cut this crease guys I'm a little bit scared I'm not gonna lie I'm using a new product which I tried out a little bit the other day because I was like well I'm gonna be doing some crazy look today I'm gonna have to up my game with my products I bought the high definition eye base from NYX and it looks like this just make sure you clean it before you put it back into the bottle because you don't want to make the product in the bottle the same color as your eyeshadow. We're going to use a flat paddle brush to apply the blue color. So now that that blue is very dominant, I'm going to add a little bit of purple. The purple we're going to use is this one right over here. Using that with a little bit of the darker one. So we're going to do this right at the base of the eye. Starting with the light purple, so just popping that on top. So a little bit of a dark purple now. It's okay to be messy because we will be cleaning this up with a little bit of concealer and foundation and all that stuff. So don't stress too much if you're going outside of the lines. Lord Matlo, do not take stress. Okay, and then we're just gonna blend it. I'm gonna take the concealer stick and what we're doing is gonna go crazy. Crazy man. I'm gonna highlight with the concealer so everywhere where you want the higher planes of your face to be lighter. This is what's going up. And you'll blend the center over there. I like to just blend it because it does dry, so I don't wanna have it too hectic. A little bit over there. Make sure that you have a tissue with you just so that you can clean this afterwards. Yeah, okay, cleaning up those lines. We're going to put on the foundation. I'm loving the Studio Scalp by MAC Cosmetics. I'm using the color in NC3 at the moment. At the moment. So I'm gonna use the Palmer's Oil. The reason why I like this foundation is because it's very nice and creamy. It is an amazing color for my skin. It's also full coverage, which I love. I do like using natural or sheer foundation when I'm not going out, but say I'm going and having an amazing night out, I obviously want to have full coverage foundation. And I did use this foundation quite a bit on my trip to India. I was playing around with the NC30 and then the NC35, and I love both of the colors. But obviously it depended on how tanned I was. I wasn't going to be wearing a color that did not match my face. And the Palmer's oil just really does still give it that beautiful dewy finish. Just dragging that a little bit down the neck. We are done with the foundation. We're going to use the Revlon Color Stay Powder. It is a stay matte powder from Rimmel and it is in the color translucent, which is 001. I'm just going to go in with an angled brush and I'm just kind of matte my face a little bit just so that when I contour it doesn't stick in any way. I'm going to use the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. So I'm going to use tan and a little, little bit of hollow. What I'm going to start off with are the colors Soft Light and Cream. And I'm going to use these as my highlight colors and I'm just adding that right underneath my eyes. Okay, now we're gonna go into that color tan, go right into the cheekbone, make that really nice definite line, warm up the cheeks a little bit. And we're also gonna go into the nose area. So we're gonna really bronze this up really nicely and sculpt the face. Blend that outwards into the cheek, like hollow that cheek so that when you smile, it is a beautiful smile. Contouring at its finest. Now I'm basically just gonna touch the color hollow. As you can see, that is, it is intense, okay? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to blend it upwards. Using tan underneath the lips just to create that shadow. So I'm gonna take the Strub of Genius palette from NYX. I wanted to highlight the brow bone. It don't say what the color is, but it's the yellow one. Okay, use the yellow one, and then what we're doing is we're going right on the bridge there. Pop it, pop it, pop it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that yellow and then mixing it with this light one over here. So going in yellow, and then that's very luminescent color. Just popping that right here. Okay. Okay. 
yellow luminous let's go oh honey honey this is so beautiful other side okay okay we're gonna put a little bit of the yellow mixed with that very light one on the bridge here so this is the clinique cheek pop blush which is in the color peach pop which is an o2 and it's so sunny it is a shimmery peachy color and i'm just going to use the same color the same brush that i used for my highlights and i'm just going to go into this add a little bit of color into those cheeks this is supposed to be like a nice bronzed sun-kissed look that is also very inspired by India. Well, I love it. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. So I've been buying these NYX liners, which are so nice. They are liquid liners. And this one is in the color Vivid Halo. I'm just going to add this in the center. Guys, this, this is patience, bro. This is like the ultimate test. What I'm going to do now is add some purple glitter liner and this is the Crystal Cuter and it's a liquid liner from NYX. This is the one I'm going to be using now. It's also really nice. Going in underneath the yellow. The glitter liners do burn for some reason. We're going to use the liquid eyeliner from Mina. This is in the 500 and it is a very nice black and this is my favorite eyeliner at the moment to use The only thing that I would say about this, uh, the liners from NYX is that they do crack, which sometimes isn't a bad thing, which you can see right now I was able to kind of flick away a piece of the liner just because it wasn't in place. The only thing I would say though is if this was on for a very long time, it would probably start to look a little bit patchy. Uh, that's the only thing I would say, to say about the, the consistency of the liner. But otherwise, I love it. I mean, this looks really great. So far, I'm very happy. So I've been buying the Revlon that comes in a pack. And this one actually comes with a eyeliner. I've been using it for two months now and I've been loving it. We're using Ardell lashes and these are in Black Whispers. I saw these and I was like, oh my word, I'm in love. They look so feathery. And we are basically gonna pull that off of the strip. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lash glue. This is the liner that I was just using in the waterline. Just go in underneath the eyes and we're just going to shadow it a little bit. We're using the Clinique Long Last Gloss, which is in the color Honey Bunch. And I am like obsessed with this gloss because it is divine. When I was in India, this lip gloss was my favorite because it's such a beautiful natural color. And last but not least, we're gonna finish it up with some the Fix Plus spray, and this is in the lavender. I'm gonna do my hair, and then you guys can see the finished look up close. Ah, there you have it. This is the completed look. I am very happy with it, and I also like how my hair came out. Added a little flower crown. I got this flower crown in India. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I had so much fun doing it. Don't forget to check out my website, RaminaLadolo.com. I have a clothing range that you guys can purchase, and they look amazing, by the way. I actually wore some of the outfits in India. I wore Lenty in spring pink, and then I also wore the Nimbo top. This is Nimbo in Rainwater, and I love both of them so much, and they looked really nice. Both of them were perfect actually for India because the one night, I think it was Mumbai, it did get a little bit chilly and that is why it was so perfect wearing the long sleeve 
body bodysuit. And then when I was in Kolkata wearing the little top, it was perfect because it was boiling hot. It was humid uh, AF. <laughs> and I did like a beautiful wet hair look. You can check out those photos on my Insta crazy. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. I don't want to make it any longer because you guys have been watching this non-stop and I love it so much. Thank you for keeping your attention here. And yeah, I just, I love you. Thank you. You are amazing. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm excited to be posting Makeup Monday videos every Monday from now on. Hopefully vlog videos every now and then just to keep you guys updated about my life, like what's going on. No, baby. So my neighbor's cat has been visiting. Hey, can I pick you up? Hello. He has the most gorgeous blue eyes. Like I literally die. Hello, puppy. What are you doing? What are you doing, puppy? Such a cutie pie. That is my neighbor's cat and he keeps visiting and I'm just so grateful because I mean that's just another one of gifts God has blessed me with in this lifetime. Danyavad, thank you. Grazie mille, donkey. And yeah, just overall, just thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. India, you were amazing. Like, I literally can't even get over it. Everyone that I met and over the past two months, it's just... Like my heart is just so warm from everything that I experienced in India. So I wanted to say thank you again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>